Hi, this is Brandon from Tate Talk Tech, back here again with another video. Today we're going to be continuing the QEMU KVM series by covering virtual machine templates. Now, essentially what a template is, is it's going to be a pre-configured virtual machine that you're going to use to make copies of because you want those copies to have the exact same configuration as the template machine. Now, there's two types of templates. There's thin templates and clone templates. Thin templates, this will link the this will link the, the new disk image back to a template base image. This base image is read only and the new disk image is a copy on write. This will take up less disk space but cannot be run without a base template image. This is very similar to those external snapshots that we covered in the previous video. Now, a clone template is a full copy that is independent of the template VM. It's essentially just a copy of that, of that virtual machine. This will require the same space as the original virtual machine. Now, there's a prerequisite that we need to install in order to make this happen, is that's going to be apt, install, and the, the utility is going to be lib, guest, fs, dash tools and my system already has it installed so it doesn't need to be installed again what this is going to do is it's going to give us a set of utilities for accessing and modifying virtual machine disk images now this is going to give us a utility that's called vert sysprep and what this will do is this will remove any system specific information and can be used to customize virtual machines so really it's going to help prepare a VM to be cloned by removing any of the specific information about that machine so there's no conflict if they're going to be running on the same network. Now the command syntax is pretty easy. It's just vert sysprep and then you're going to do attack D and then you would just do the template name. All right, now when you execute this command, it will perform all operations on that specific domain. So let's go ahead and give that an enter. Let it do its thing. It's going to put out a whole list here of all these different of all these different operations that it executed. And you can see here it's it gets rid of um, you know mail spool, the machine ID, uh, backup files. Um, script, uh, SSH, um, SSH hotkeys, SSH user directory, temp files, uh, a bunch of different things. Now, if you only want to, if you only want to run certain operations, you can do that with using vert sysprep and then tac tac operations. So there'd be vert sysprep operation and then you would just list out the operations. Now you may be asking well how do I know which operations I can do? Now that's good. that's pretty easy. You're going to do list tac tac list operation or operations. All right and this is right here is going to give us all the operations it's going to run. So pretty easy peasy. Our template's ready to go. Uh, one thing I do want to point out though is that you will need to run this command as root or with sudo and once run on a, v on a VM make sure not to start the VM again or it will lose all the sysprep. So just keep that in mind. All right now let's go ahead and get into making a thin template. So there's going to be a few steps that are involved here. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and dump the the XML. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and output that to a file called template1.xml. All right, and essentially what this what this um, less than sign is going to do is it's going to it's an operator that's going to go ahead and take the output of that command and output it to this file. So now we have ourselves an XML file that's going to have all of the configuration details necessary to go ahead and move on to the next step. Now, and the next step is going to involve us creating the actual disk image. Now we've we've used the QEMU image command before in our previous video getting information and a couple of other a couple of other things. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do QEMU 
image create and then we'll do B for backing and then we're going to go ahead and put in the put in the full path of the template VM All right, and then we're going to go ahead and tack, we're going to space over and do a capital F, which is going to be the format of the backing image, which in our case is QCOW2. And then we're going to do a lowercase f, which is going to be the format of the new drive that we're, that we're creating, and that's going to be QCOW again. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the new name, the, or not, I shouldn't say the new name, but the name that we want to give our new disk image. So that, in this case, I'm just going to use template dash one dot q cow two all right we'll go ahead and hit enter and we've got an error there so let's go ahead and oops we forgot to put the there we go all right now if we just do an ls we can see our template one q cow image there all right, so we've got that created. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and create the clone. Now, pay attention to the syntax here, just because you want to make sure that you catch every part of this command, or because if, if you don't, it will not work properly. So, vert clone, original XML, and we're going to do this, and then we're going to do the location of the original XML file, which is actually in our current directory, template.xml. All right, and then we're going to do an F, which is going to be the location of the new disk image, which we've already created, which is template one dot q cow two, and then we'll give it a name, which we're just going to call it template one. All right, and then we will go ahead and put preserve. Preserve data. All right, perfect. And all right, clone template one created successfully. Let's go ahead and confirm list. And there we go. Let's and we can go ahead and start it too. Versh. And it started. Cool. Yep. All right. So now let's go ahead and do the. Now let's go ahead and do the clone template method. Now this one is super easy. So what you're going to do is you're just going to do vert clone, and then you're going to type in original. We're going to do pepper. We're nope. We're going to do template. No, we're just going to do template, and then we'll go ahead and just type in tac tac auto clone, and then we'll just do a tac tac name, and we'll just do it template two. Oops, don't forget the dash between the auto clone. And there we go. And honestly, using the using the clone method is the one that I use the most. Uh, and, and honestly, the way I started this off is when I started today prepping for this video is I had just peppermint. I got rid of all the other all the other virtual machines that I had there and I just created the one here template. And then basically I just created this one and then I also created template two. And again let's just go ahead and run a verse list tac tac all and we've got it right there. So everything went through smoothly. So all right, so that's pretty much all I had for today. Easy peasy stuff. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know if you have any ideas of things that you'd like me to cover in the future. I'd really appreciate that. And I really hope you have the greatest of days. Thanks again for watching my video and until next time.